YouTubers and Jeep lovers, Tom here with my 1962 CJ5 Willis Jeep. Today we're going to be draining and refilling the transmission and the transfer case. So we're going to use an 80-90 weight gear lube for the lubricant and we're going to use a drain pan to drain things into and to refill I'm going to use this pump and I'm going to transfer my gear lube into a quart container so I can keep track of how much I'm putting in. So I'm going to pump this back into the, the units once I drain them. The uh, transfer case takes three and a quarter pints. The transmission takes two and a half pints. And I'm not sure uh, exactly about the crossover. I know some of them are drilled to cross over. The, uh, the lubricate, lubricant circulates between the two units. So I'm just going to drain and refill them both with the proper amount that they call for. So let's get started by draining the transfer case on the other side of the vehicle. Okay, here's the transfer case. The drain is on the bottom and it's a plug which is the size of a 3 8 inch drive um, ratchet. So that's how we're going to drain this. But first, we want to take out the fill plug which is up here and I'm going to use a crescent wrench. Can you see that up there? So here's the fill plug. Let's remove that and hopefully a lot of stuff won't come gushing out of there. I guess I can get the drain pan just in case. Well, I hope there's something in there. I got a feeling this Jeep has been severely neglected, so I'm expecting this to look pretty dark, and it is, but at least there's something in there. Okay, let's let that drain for a while, and we'll go to the other side and drain the transmission. We've moved to the other side of the vehicle where the transmission is located. This is the drain plug, and this is the fill plug. They're both square-headed plugs. I'm going to use a crescent wrench. I've cleaned around the both plugs the best I can with the limited access I have. I obviously have the um, cross member off here and the transmission mount and all that so so let's take the fill plug off and see what happens. Hopefully no debris drops into the transmission. that aside for now. Now I'm going to take out the drain plug and hopefully something comes out. something in there okay we're gonna let that drain for a good 10 minutes I let the transfer case drain until nothing else came out which was about 10 minutes and then before I refill it I'm gonna pull that plug again and see if anything else wants to come out before I refill it so let's let this drain for about 10 or 15 minutes and we'll go to refilling them well we're just about drained it's down to a drip and I wanted to feel some of these last drips there's nothing indicating there's any filings or anything in that at all it's just nice and smooth a little dirty but nice and smooth so we're going to put the plug back in and we're going to give the transfer case one more drain on the other side then we're going to refill them both okay i've got the transmission plug in good and snug it's drained I didn't feel any metal filings in there. Okay, we're back to the transfer case. I'm just going to give this one more little chance to drain. Oh, yeah. 
definitely some more in there. Like I said before, I don't know if this transmission is drilled across over from the transfer case to the transmission or not, so I don't really know. I'm just, I'm going to drain them both and put the required amount in each one. And if it wants to cross over later on its own, it's up to itself to do so. Okay, let's tighten the drain plug for the transfer case up. It's just a straight three quarter or three eighths inch drive. No socket on the end. Actually, I don't even need the extension on there. We get that pretty snug. And now we're gonna go to the transmission side again and refill the transmission first and then come over here and refill the transfer case. Okay, I've transferred my gear oil into a quart container. This isn't the right thing. I'm using an 8090 multi-vis gear oil and I've got a, an oil pump on the top of this. This is actually for an outboard motor, but I'm just gonna use it for my transmission. And we're gonna pump this in. It takes two and a half pints. This is two pints, which is one quart, and we're gonna do, put another half a pint, which is gonna be eight ounces after I get through with this. So let's pump it in and see how we do. Okay, I have my pump into my fill hole, and we're gonna start pumping some oil. Looks like it's going in. Well, that's it for that quart. The pump worked great. We got it all in there, didn't spill one drop. Now we have to add a little more to the container and pump, it, pump the rest in. Okay, I've refilled my pump container with another eight ounces uh, worth of gear oil which brings me up to two and a half pints once I get this in here let's pump it in there it goes That's it. Okay, let's put our fill plug in. Yep, and look, it's starting to come out up there too. Look at the hole up there. See the hole? Yep. It's just starting to come out, so she's full. Perfect. That's the only drop we've spilled is what's coming out now that it's full. Let's get the plug back in there. There it goes. Okay, I'll tighten that down, then we're gonna go fill up the transfer case. Okay, we're back at the transfer case. I've got a refill of two pints in my container with my pump on it, and we're gonna pump it in. This takes three and a quarter. So we have our first two pints into the transfer case. Now we've put another pint and a quarter into our pump container, which is between half and three quarters of a quart. So we've got another pint and a quarter going in. Here we go. There it goes. That's it. Let's see if I can feel any in there. I can feel it in there. It's not coming out, but that's the required amount. So we're putting the drain plug in, or the fill plug.
There you have it. Let's call that job done.